First at five, we begin with live team coverage on the coronavirus impact all across our state. Morgan Lentis is breaking down hospitalization data as numbers continue to skyrocket with this latest surge. And with the carnival season starting in two days, Aubrey Killian has what crew captains are doing to keep people safe at their coronation balls. But first, we begin with Harrison Golden, who met people today who have struggled for days to find a COVID test. Harrison, what's being done so more people can have access to the tests? Yeah, well, Gina, we are right outside a church in Algiers that has heard the concerns of its flock. People here have spent weeks talking about how testing sites all over our viewing area are either clogged or closed. So today they tried something different. So I was like, how am I going to get a test so I can go back to work? Mail carrier Casey Turner says her Monday was a waste. She spent hours booking appointments that testing sites later canceled. She drove and waited on lines only to learn there were no tests left. But today was another day. Come in, swab your nose, and you're out. She finally got a test at Greater Providence Baptist Church in Algiers. I know that COVID will continue to be on the rise, and the question comes to me as a leader, what will I do? Pastor Javante Jim Coyley decided to offer these tests following his own ordeal recently with long lines and disappointment. These lines are ridiculous. And, you know, we have to do something and everyone, you know, I, I believe that it starts here within our own church. Um, so um, I, I just want to help. That's all I want to do. That's all, all I want to do is be a blessing to somebody. I think they're very valuable if they have a, a supply that they can utilize and target towards their communities. I, I think that's a, a, a totally appropriate and, and relevant role for for them to play. But Tulane epidemiologist Dr. Susan Hassig says one church isn't enough. While she admits it's hard for most sites to get enough test kits, she hopes more churches, charities, and other organizations will follow Greater Providence's lead with more testing events soon. It's not going to happen in a short time. We're in a very difficult position right now. Meanwhile, Turner's result will come in about two days. That's nothing, she says, compared to the peace of mind she feels now. And she wants others to feel it too. Families would be more safer, be more to feel more secure. Um, and I think it wouldn't be so as chaotic as it is going on right now. So testing wrapped up here at around two o'clock, but not before almost 200 people got tests. And more importantly here, none of those 200 people got turned away. And by the way, the pastor here tells me, Harrison, we had such a good turnout today. We're going to do something quite similar later this month. So the first of many events like these in the near future. But for now, we are reporting live in Algiers, Harrison Golden, WDSU News.